So hi, welcome to this video. So uh, the first thing you'll see in this video is actually I've changed the text editor I'm going to be using. Uh, I've decided to use um, uh, this text editor called Sublime Text uh, 2 instead of Context because uh, I thought the syntax highlighting was better because um, the colors in this one were better and I liked the dark uh, background. So uh, if you actually uh, don't want me to use this text editor and you think it's better to use Context, just let me know and then we'll use Context instead. But uh, for now, let's just use Sublime Text and let's get started. So what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be um, actually letting people create likes. So we're going to be putting a like button and if we have time, a dislike button as well um, on the uh, video watch page. So uh, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to decide where we're going to put the like and dislike buttons. And I think I'm going to put them here on the left hand side uh, directly opposite to the um, progress bar we created in the last video. So if we go into the code and we scroll down um, to um, the progress bar div, um, let's see, this is it here. Um, so what we want to do is we want to actually put this on, we want to put it above this. So if we scroll up, um, Okay, so we're just going to come in here and we're just going to put in some random text and see where it goes just to uh, make sure that we're in the right place. So as you can see, the text goes there. So that means we need to uh, come in here and we'll create a div. Actually, we'll go above here. Whoops. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll just set it, give it a style attribute, and then we'll set it to uh, float left. Set its width to 100%. And then we'll just write here, this is a div. And we'll see where this goes. So as you can see, there it is there. That's what we wanted. So what we need to do is... Um, Let's cut this and paste it in here. So as you can see, that's sort of put it more in line. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the width to, um, let's just set the width to 40%. Um, okay, maybe not 40%. Let's have a look. Let's change it to 10. Okay, so it appears um, that if, uh, if we set this to zero, it should um, push the uh, progress bar back. So it looks like um, whatever extra space we give this div, are going is, it's going to take away from this div. So what we need to do is... Um, Cut this div again, paste it in here. And as you can see, oh, we need to actually give it a percentage width. So we'll give it 10% width. And as you can see, it's starting to fill up the, uh, we're starting to give the div more space without actually taking away from the progress bar by pushing it over. So what we're going to do is we're going to give this 50% width, maybe, maybe a bit less. Okay, and then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a form. So form and then close, uh, create our form down here. Give it an action of um, this, this here. It's a uh, watch.php uh, video ID or video ID equals and then the video ID. So we can just copy it and paste it up here. And then what we can do is we'll give it a method of post. 
And then in here, what we're going to do is we're going to create two submit buttons. So the name of the submit button is going to be like, and then the value is going to be um, like. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this and then create another uh, button called dislike and we're, it's going to say dislike so now we have our two buttons um, just get rid of that so uh, what we need to do is we're just going to um, set their position maybe so um, so actually within this div we're just going to create a new div and then close it off so the position uh, we're just going to set the position to absolute and let's just see what this does um, okay that's not what we wanted actually instead of that we'll just give it a margin so um, margin and uh, as you'll see if I go back here we want it to sort of push up so by, we can do that by giving it a negative margin of maybe minus 10 pixels what this should do is it should push our buttons up as you can see it did uh, maybe we don't want to push them up as much but we'll leave it like that for now because we can style them with CSS uh, later on uh, um, Okay, but maybe for the meantime, we'll just push them down. So negative five pixels, maybe. So that's fine for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, create the database table to hold likes and dislikes now. So what we're going to do is first we're going to plan it out. So we need to plan out our fields. So uh, we'll just uh, say DB table fields, maybe uh, DB table fields and then the first field is going to be ID obviously second one is going to be whether it's a like or a dislike um, yeah the first the second one will be a uh, like or I'll just write L O D for like or dislike just shortened it down um, and then the next thing is going to be the video ID and the person who did it or who liked or disliked it so just say um, username so that's all we need we need four fields so let's go into our um, table and scroll down and create for a table called ratings so we're gonna create the table called ratings and it's gonna have four columns Okay, so it says ratings already exists. Uh, oh yeah, we made it in the last video. So let's just have a look. Um, so uh, we can just append another um, column onto the original um, ratings table. And this, this new one's just gonna be a uh, username. And the username can be up to 32 characters long, I think. So we'll set that as the maximum length. So now we've done that, we're going to go into, uh, we're actually going to close this. And we're going to come in here and we're going to say, if it, we're going to say, um, go up here. We're going to add a comment. Um, let's say add ratings code. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say if is set, whoops is set post uh, like so if it's a like that's been posted then we just want to say uh, MySQL query update uh, or no insert into readings values. And as you can see, we have uh, four possible uh, columns to fill in. So the first one's ID, so we'll leave it blank. The second one is uh, video ID, so we'll just set that equal to video video ID. 
The next one is going to be if it's a like or a dislike. So in our case, it's going to be a like. So we're just going to set it equal to like because it's uh, the uh, values type or I mean the uh, column name is type and the uh, type of data it takes is just a word like or dislike as you can see here. And then finally, we just need username. So the username, we're just going to use the variable username that we um, get from our header file. Uh, where is it? There, okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say, um, we're just going to leave that like that for now. And we're going to test this out and see does it work. So if I come here and I click like, Undefined variable username. Okay, that's okay, but our query should still have run successfully. So uh, as you can see, there's four rows here now, and then if we refresh, hopefully we'll get five. As you can see, it says uh, approximately five total. Um, so everything worked except the username. So as you can see, now I'm in the header file, and I've got the um, session variable up here, and it's actually called user. So let's try it now. Click like. We get no undefined variables and it should have worked. Uh, let's go into the table again. And as you can see now the like has been added to the table. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this table and I'm going to uh, show you that it actually is working. So I just emptied the table and if we refresh now we should actually just see nothing. Okay, we see a uh, warning division by zero. We'll fix that in the next video. But as you can see, if I click like, what will happen is the bar will just fill. Whoops. Uh, let's just refresh. So as you can see, our uh, bar just filled full. And what we need to do actually is we need to um, say, uh, create a header uh, or use the header function to reload the page after a like's been uh, after something's been liked. Because at the moment you have to actually manually refresh it, and that's not good. So um, let's just copy this. Okay, so that should be it. So let's just try it again. Click like. And as you can see, if we uh, go over, it's still green, so we won't actually notice any difference. But if we refresh, uh, we have two rows. So we're just going to quickly do the dislike one and I'm, we, I'll be able to show you that it actually is working. So we just basically just copy and paste. Set this to dislike. And then just the only thing we need to change is we need to change this to dislike. And then that's it. So let's try it now. Uh, click dislike. And as you can see, it updated it without me having to do anything. If we click dislike again uh, and again, as you can see, it is increasing in the bar. We click like a few times. Um, the likes slowly increase the uh, the actual amount of green and so on and so on. It just gets more and more and more. So um, we have a few more things to do. Obviously, we don't want people to be able to dislike and like th the uh, video more than once. So we'll do that in the next video and we'll also sort out the uh, warning division by zero. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe and I'll see you next time.